Hey up everybody, just a bit of a quickie this really, a bit more information on my e-bike. Um, a while back I did a video of me converting this bike into an e-bike. I've done a few others before in the past so uh, I've known about this problem. Uh, well, I've learnt about this problem as I've progressed doing them. Now, when I was doing this video on this bike, if you take a look back at that, you'll find that I put this 8 magnet ring pedal assist sensor on. Uh, now at the time I got the bike hung up and I hadn't actually used it. At the time I thought it was working okay. It seemed to be picking up and working and that's as, that's as much as I really registered in my brain. Okay that's working fine, it's going the right way, blah 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 etc. So I went out and tried it then and uh, I, I live on the flat, on a flat portion of road and it worked fine so I assumed that it was okay. Now the only reason I changed it in, the, in my last video was because, because it's got 8 in for some reason it was picking up speed uh, too fast for me. It were wanting to as soon as I moved the pedals it were wanting to go. It hadn't got a steady pick up. So what I thought was I'll try a different magnet ring and I'll half the number of magnets. So you'll see in my video I put this four magnet ring on and I've been using it with that four on ever since and it's it's worked fine. The only thing um, that I've found out with it, with the, you know, with me experimenting, is if I come to a junction that's on a bit of an incline, with this four magnet ring, because the pedals have got to move round further, because the magnets are further apart, I was struggling for it to to pick up quickly enough. So it's a bit of a swings and roundabout situation this. You've either got to have, have it one way or other. And I think it's more important to have it other way. If you're on a junction on a hill, you want it to be, you know, kicking in straight away. Anyway, so what I've done then, I've reverted back to my original 8 magnet ring. Put that on and I've been for a, well, 40 mile bike ride. And uh, lo and behold, I found out it's not it's not operating properly. It's um, it's kicking in, and I can keep my pedals going at the at the same speed, and and it's kicking out, and it's kicking in and kicking out without me stopping pedaling. And it's uh, it's worse when it's on a hill. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, this eight magnet ring does not work correctly with my controller so I've took this one off and I've made another magnet ring and I've put 12 magnets in I've tried that and it's worse than having the 8 one in it's very intermittent so I've took 6 of the magnets out and I've got a 6 magnet ring now I've tested it on this setup that I've got here and it's working correctly. So the moral of the story is here is if if you're thinking of making one of these bikes up from uh, you know buying separate components in instead of a kit and your pedal assist don't work, it might be the reason that there's too many or too few magnets in or the, not the correct number that matches up with the controller. So I'll just take the camera off at stand and I'll bring it down here and I'll show you what I mean what, by, by it not working right. It's a bit difficult with bike hung up like this but and I'm in a, I'm in, I'm in a, a gear that's I'm gonna have to pedal fast. So but you'll get the gist of it. I'm not gonna fasten my pedal on uh, properly, I'm just gonna slot it on and try and uh, work around this. So when I turn this pedal now, 
the mulch will kick in but when I, when I start going a bit faster or going a lot faster you'd think it would stay the motor would stay on because you're wanting to go faster up to its maximum the con the uh, controller's maximum but it kicks out and it's kicking in and kicking out and when I'm on a hill it's doing that all the time and basically it's better to have, have no power on than power that's kicking in and out because you don't know if you're coming or going anyway let, I digress let's try this so this is the 8 magnet right motors kicked in looks as though it's working okay It's kicked out, look. Still kicked out. I slow down, then it kicks back in. Out. It's kicked out. Out again. And it's doing it all the time. And when you're on a hill, you don't want that, really. It doesn't do it so much on flat. I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm not pedalling. I'm pedalling at a different you know a different rate and I'm not and I'm not actually feeling it kicking in and kicking out I made another ring with four magnets in so half the magnets so you'd think that that would slow it down because the pedal has got to move in a bigger arc for each magnet it did slow it down it stopped it from kicking in as quick and anyway I've been using this one and it's worked fine, even on hills. No matter how fast I go, it stays in. So that's been working fine, so why am I changing it? I can hear you all asking. Well, when I'm on an incline, on a junction, because I've got to turn the pedals twice as twice as far in an arc to get, to set me off on the junction, I found it a bit inconvenient, especially on a on a on a hilly on a hilly incline on a busy road on the junction. So I thought, right, I'll try. I'll I'll go back to eight one. Try that. So I put it back on and tried it, and this is when I found a problem. I've made another magnet ring. I've put twelve magnets in. I've actually took six of them out now so you can't see it with 12 in so I put the 12 magnet ring on and that actually works worse than the 8 one it's cutting in and kicking cutting in and cu cutting back out and cutting in even more with, with that 12 on so what I've done then I've took six of them out and I've got six on now and this six one Funnily enough, works perfectly. Stays, it stays cut, it stays in like the four one does. But I've got less and less arc to turn before it sets off and kicks in. So this is the six one. So it's kicked in now. And as I speed up, it stays in. And it's not kicking out at all. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to utilise this uh, 6 one now and put that in. Let me just show you again this 8 one so you can get the idea. <coughs> Kicked in. What's up? It's kicked out. <coughs> Back in. Out. Out. In.
it's just, it's just kicking in and kicking out. I think it's confusing the controller. Anyway, I just thought that might be helpful for anybody that's making their own e-bike up and um, buying different components in from different places. If you're having a problem with your pedal assist not working right, it might be purely down to the number of magnets that's in. Now on summit bikes, you get an LCD screen in, the, in a kit that comes with the kit and you program the number of magnets in. Now maybe the controller needs to know how many magnets. I mean I'm no expert, I'm no expert on this. I'm, uh, I know this isn't scientific but just through a little bit of experimenting I found that you know it's uh, the amount of magnets does affect whichever controller you've got. Well that's my that's just my little experiment there. I know it's not totally scientific but you know it's proved a point and worked for me okay. Um, I've often wondered why when you buy these uh, pedal assist sensors you can get different amount of magnets and also they always come with holes up pre-drilled in them in different positions. Now maybe that's the reason to match up with the controller, I don't know. But anyway, like I said, it's not scientific and it's just proved a point for my benefit and it might help somebody else out that's going ahead and making an e-bike up from, you know, ad hoc components. So, uh, if you found that informative and useful, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe uh, and I'll catch you on the next video. So, I'll sign off for now then. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.